Alice. I'm a makeup artist. This is my broken, uh, well-traveled makeup case. Serenity now. No more set calls for another 12 hours. No more feathering lipstick. And no more shiny foreheads. Ah, I love my couch. Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. Velvety couch or date? Hope you find uh. what it is you're after. Hmm. Tighter. I guess I'm not taking the subway or bus in this get up. <sighs> Hashtag, I work at a bank and I have no sense of humor. Why, yes, Your Majesty, I do rather like to blend in. To the walls. Neo, you're the one. Black, even with makeup on, it's because she probably forgot to contour. Foundation will erase your imperfections, but it will also erase the shadows that shape your face. Contouring puts those shadows back in. I use this skin treatment as a primer because it contains some dimethicone, which fills in lines and leaves a nice silky finish on your skin. To apply, I'm using a big foundation brush, number 948. I use two foundations, one my skin tone and one a few shades darker. A concealer with a peachy undertone and a highlighter. This one is a brightener. I'm placing all the different products on my face using small foundation 947. Making a fish face helps locate the hollows of your cheeks. Place the dark foundation there. I'm using two flat brushes, Precision Kabuki 957 and Duet Fiber Foundation 953 to buff and blend. This pointed foundation, 949, gets into all the nooks and crannies around my nose and eyes. Mm, baby, please don't, don't I get close to the lash line using concealer brush 936. Each colored concealer helps cancel out the blue and purple tones around the eyes and red around the nose. Blend in small corners, I'm using Pointed Foundation 949. Now I'm going to do my eyes, but you'll have to come back another time for details. My cheekbones, I'm using Slanted Contour 942 to apply bronzer to the hollows of my cheeks. And for this, I do my fish face. Adding a little bronzer to my jawline as well to give a more chiseled look. For my nose and brow bone, I'm using the same bronzer and a Duet Fiber Tapered Blender 787, which leaves just enough color to give the illusion of a shadow but not a hard line. 
to highlight, I'm using highlighting powder and face blending brush 940. I'm using powder blender 959 to smooth out all the powders and remove any excess product or weird edges. I like to use a little loose mineral foundation to set. To keep the application light, I'm using Duet Fiber Finishing Brush 955. I prefer my blush to look like a sheer wash of color rather than a blotch of painted on rouge. The Duet Fiber Blusher 965 always does the trick. One last buff with Powder Blender 959 and I'm ready to move on to lips.